He's from Macy, Indiana. He's flying this Wildman Interceptor on a J460. It's going to rock and roll in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That kind of looked like a 415, Dan. Is that what it was? Pump on a CTI J330. Is the fire crew ready? <laughs> Just saying. All right, here we go, Dennis. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, look at that. They don't all blow up. And there's another one coming. That's Dan. Oh, 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 oh! It's a wild man, it'll be all right. All right, Fred is from Hackettstown, New Jersey. He's flying a PML Small Endeavor. Yes, that is a PML Small Endeavor. Uh, it's on a J180. The motor is 24 years old. What could go wrong? Yeah, it just won't light. We're gonna, we're gonna aim for the Nomex. In five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that looked that looked pretty damn good, Fred. One. Smoke. <laughs> Still going up. Yeah, I'm guessing it came from Wildman's because it's gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Imagine that, a wild man igniter actually worked. How about Flying a mad cow. Yes, that is a mad cow super bat ray on an I-216. Good luck, Paul, at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little wiggly, but did all right. Flint, Michigan is flying his Mockingbird. It's a Mach 2 uh, on an I-229 with a streamer and a parachute. Going in five. Oh, hold on. Flyer of record is Eric. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. All the way from Nellsville. It's flying as Amram 120 by PML. It's got a Loki motor in it. Uh, dual deploy. It's going to go in five, four, three, two, one. David, I bet you that's the one you put back in. Nice. Mike Gross out of Fort Wayne. Don't lie now. Oh, wow. PML and Amram on a K-185. That is a good combination. Just saying. I know where that rocket landed. Five, four, three, two, one. Yep. <laughs> That's what Amrams do. <laughs> That's what Amrams do. Eric Burgess out of Chicago is flying a screaming eagle. It's really a wild man punisher that he's gonna punish with a K375. See ya! 54321. Push harder. Aww. D3, Howard Stern from Chicago. Midwest Power 2017 is what he named the rocket. It's a Lock Patriot 5 inch on a K250. 54321. Yeah, that's who he said. <laughs> Love it when it's spiral because of the motor. And going, and going, and going. Out on D-Man Interceptor 98 on a K700. Will we skip four? I'm sorry, four. 
Well, it'll be next in five, four, three, two, one. Smoking. You ought to try putting a 75 millimeter motor in that thing, man. A broken arrow five on a L1420. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to move out to the F bank on F1. Dude, you're. you're Klein heads. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch belt petunia on an L1400 going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I love it when they whistle going up. Chris Pierce, Chris Pierce flying his upscale NCR Archer. Scratch belt on a J480 and F3. Gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Heads up at the sea bank. You guys arming the rocket at the sea bank. Look up. And the E bank. Yeah. That would have hurt if it would have hit you in the head. Heads up. What? There's another one coming right behind it. John has named this the Big Stupid Rocket, but that's not what it's called. Uh, I gave you a little bit of a breakdown on this earlier. This rocket has been built in Wisconsin, Illinois, Georgia, uh, and that's about it. It, it is a big rocket. Uh, the fins are over 70 inches tall. Just the fins alone are 70 inches tall. Made out of foam, half-inch foam core with carbon fiber on the outside, done by Eric Kainberg. Uh The body tubes were uh, PML phenolic that we got from Locke, and then they were sent down to John Clifton just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, who fiberglassed the PML phenolic body tubes. Uh, then it all got sent back to me. I assembled the booster. Brent Lilsand did the altimeter base, so if the electronics don't work, it's all Brent's fault. Sorry, Brent. <laughs> He'll never volunteer to do that again. Uh, Aerotech made demo motors for me. I really like the L1256 three grain super white load. And I said, you guys really ought to do that in a four grain. If you do it, I gotta, I'll got i build you a rocket around it. So there's six of those in there. Six M2225s. If you were here first thing this morning, John Williams flew a four inch rocket on one of those and it just disappeared, man. It teleported. Uh, Chuck Swindler built me a nice four inch motor in the middle. Uh, Chuck helped Actually, Chuck built all the motors. Uh, Clifton assembled it all. I painted the bottom. John painted the top. Uh, and a whole bunch of friends put it out on a pad out there. Guys, thank you all for all of your help. This is to celebrate Midwest Power 20. We did this at Midwest po Most of the early Midwest Powers. We Yeah, the big one way out there is seven motors in it. It's a H2 maybe. And, and I think it's 25, 26 feet. All right, here we go. It's going to go five, four, three, two, one. Uh, oh my. Well, that is not what's supposed to happen. But. Brent did his job. Uh-oh. Rut roll. 
No, I don't think those are the fins fluttering down there, Eric. In five, four, three, two, one. Wayne is flying slightly dangerous. You're more than slightly dangerous there, Jenny. <laughs> On an L1000. In five, four, three, two, one. See why you're more than slightly dangerous? Barry Kinnison from Grand North Carolina is flying his Rocketman Wahoo on a J290 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fifty. Oh man, we should have drag raced him. I didn't see it. Five, four, three, two, one. Cert one. Yes. Who? <laughs> James Featherstone from Chicago is flying his Rambone. It's an Apogee Zephyr on an H100. Imagine that. You want it? It's his level one cert. Right, yeah. James Featherstone on a Rambone, level one in five, four, three, two, one. Push harder. It's got an Aerotech Igniter in it, doesn't it? Told you to push harder. Heads up. Oh, right over the top of me. Don't hit the LCO. Oh no, that heads up out there, the one sitting in the road. 35, he hopes. In five, four, three, two, one. It's going. D1. D is a dog. Tim Jack from Glens on a K360 going in five, four, three, two, one. Smoke in. Yeah, kind of did. Out on F1. Five. Oh, I forgot to add Mike Walsh in there. Uh, hometown of St. Louis. What does that say? Benkin? Benkin? Bacon? Bacon. Ooh, bacon. <laughs> One. <laughs> uh, it's six, inch, six feet tall, four inches in diameter, weighs 17 pounds, and it's flying on a K805. Good luck, Mike, and the Washington University of St. Louis. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. I think that's the fastest I've ever seen a green motor light. Okay. No more rockets? Wow, there's one landing way there. Why did I want John earlier? Launch. Smoking. Jim Halen from Hoffman Estates, Illinois, flying a Mad Cow DX3, which is six feet tall, four inches in diameter, flying an I-500 Blue Thunder. Looking good. We have Brian Jansen from Downers Grove, flying a lock rocket. This is a beautiful uh, five and a half inch Mystic Buzz. How did I do, Brian? Beautiful rocket. It's called Psychotic. It's bright green and purple. I love it. Flying on a beautiful motor, Aerotech K700 White. Dual deploy, expecting 5,500 feet. Good luck, Brian. Out on pan. F3 in. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Smoking. Love the whistle. 
Okay, four, three, two, one. Hi, this is a level one certification flight for Alexander Gubin. I think I'm saying that right too. I'm so sorry if I missed it, Alex. That's a classic level one cert motor. Great choice. Arcing over, gets to the south. He's got a shootout. All right, congratulations. Two and five, four, three, two, one. Right at that time. Called uh, Joe Casel's Flying Circus, and he passed away this year. This is his level one certification flight, so this is being flown in his memory. That's awesome, Glenn. It's got an H-153 in it. C-5 is Jay Reese from north of Green Bay, Oconto, Wisconsin, flying his Estes Improved Nike Smoke with an H-165. And he has a tractor, which is good. He's going to need it. So C-3, C-4, and C-5, we've got a drag race and a memorial flight coming off the sea rack Going in five, four, three, two, one. At right, four, three, two, one. This is the weekend for long burns, folks. Great weather. Giant L motor is going to burn for 10, 12, 14 seconds, something like that. Uh, you're going to want to watch this. This is going to be great. In a lightweight cardboard rocket on a beautiful day in the Midwest. What a great idea. Thanks, Eric. Pad E4, Eric Hamburg's prototype, D Region Tomahawk from Lock Precision. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Got smoke. He wants to be early to the banquet. He's going to Princeton. <laughs> Very nice. What a cool motor. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Four, three, three, two, one. That means everything, Scott. I guess. Got smoke. Yep, way out. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Very nice. Got an event. Oh, lost the nose cone. But hey, I'll call that a success. That was really cool. Thanks, Steven. Express. It's homemade. It's got an H100 in it also. Going off of B5 in five, four, three, two, one. Nice and straight. Arcing over. Warlock, it's scratch built. It's got an I-284 in it. Dual deploy. Coming off of D1 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little crackle at the end on that motor. See you, Greg. He's from Elgin, Illinois. Flying his Lock Magnum 3E on a J760 White Thunder. Cool. Pad D2, going fast and low. Greg's rocket in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, good whistle. Love it. You know, those lock precision cardboard rockets go real high. They're light. Oh, Wisconsin flying a lock 1600, another lock precision cardboard rocket. This one's got an L1400 in it, so he's going to test this rocket out. Bad D3, this is going to scoot. Good luck, Chuck. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. 